Hey everyone, my name is Jade. I'm a third year PhD sociology student and this video is about whether or not woman face is a thing. So a couple days ago, Canadian white supremacist Faith Goldie published a tweet claiming that men wearing makeup is akin to white people wearing blackface, calling the former woman face and likening it to gender appropriation, whatever that means. Her tweet was targeted at YouTuber James Charles and has since gone viral. Goldie falls under what I would call the recent Lauren Southern trend within conservative politics politics, whereby they get attractive young femme white women to glamorize conservative ideology in order to appeal to young people. Now a common tactic adopted by people like Goldie and Southern is to weaponize anti-oppressive rhetoric in order to further conservative beliefs. And if this seems hypocritical, it's because it is. For instance, in her tweet, Goldie appropriates the language of blackface in an effort to espouse transphobic and homophobic hate speech while simultaneously guising it as a feminist position, despite the fact that she neither cares about blackface nor feminism. Of course, this kind of rhetoric completely misses the point of literally everything. The idea that only women should wear makeup is linked to oppressive gender ideologies rooted in white settler heteropatriarchy. These ideologies emerged during European colonialism in an attempt to constrain people's sense of self to gender stereotypes that function to establish men's political authority over women and white people's political authority over indigenous folks, who pre-contact engaged in much more fluid and non-hierarchical forms of gender and sexual expression. When men or gender non-conforming people wear makeup, they disrupt these stereotypes which works to the benefit of not only women, but anyone whose power is limited by the oppressive gender and sexual regimes of Western society. In contrast, blackface is rooted in minstrel shows, which are just flat out racist. Minstrel shows were popular forms of entertainment in the US during the 1800s, wherein white actors, and in some cases, black actors with limited agency, would paint their faces black and then perform offensive and stereotypical depictions of black people. Oh, how would you like to go to work for me? Yeah. You gonna pay me, I hope. Well, let's see now. Mm. I'll pay you all your work. No, ma'am, I gotta have some money. Now, all I want you to do is meet me at the zoo in the morning at 9 o'clock. Yeah, with the rest of the monkeys. With the rest of the monkeys. Yeah, I'll bring my grandpa with me. Alabama bound. function of minstrel shows was to infantilize peoples from Western and Central Africa by representing them as stupid, lazy, and submissive. By representing black people in this way, minstrel shows work to re-articulate the racial logics used to justify their enslavement and exploitation under slavery. The implication here was not only that black people were inferior to white people, but that they are subsequently unable to be productive members of society, and thus required the superior white race to civilize and discipline them vis-a-vis -vis slavery. Now, within this context, blackface played an important role of establishing a symbolic connection between blackness and inferiority, whereby painting someone's face black and then having them act stupid or lazy worked to reinscribe these characteristics onto the black body. This is exemplified by the fact that even black actors wore blackface. The point was to conflate blackness with non or less than human qualities, and thus reassert black people's assumed inferiority. With this in mind, it's clear that there's no woman-faced version of blackface. In fact, when people who are culturally identified as non-women wear makeup, they actually disrupt the kind of oppressive and hierarchical logics that blackface invokes. This makes clear what people like Goldie are actually interested in when they invoke the imagery of blackface to shame gender-variant folks. Not the protection of women, but the desire to support white supremacy by any means necessary. So that's my video on woman face versus blackface. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see similar videos, please subscribe to my channel. See you later!